Hey guys, it's Rich Boy J here back in with another video and this is going to be my haul for the January 2019 LEGO Star Wars sets. Let's dive right into it. First set I'm going to pull out is the Naboo Starfighter with little Jake Lloyd Anakin. This is one of the two micro fighters and both of them um, I wasn't really too excited to get just because they're both figures that I already have a ton of so it's not something that I'm like super thrilled to get, you know, another of, but I do actually really quite like that build for the Naboo Starfighter. That's one of my favorite ships of Star Wars, so um, I didn't mind too much picking that one up. Next up, we got the 4 Plus A-Wing. I literally just got that set, so I'd be able to do the full wave review of this wave. Otherwise, there's really nothing for me in that set. Next up, we got the 4 Plus TIE Fighter. Um, surprisingly enough, there is actually something for me in this set, and that is that new Rebel uh, Fleet Trooper right there. Super excited to get that updated boy. Hopefully I'll find a way to get uh, a bunch more of those guys, because those guys are very cool. Now these two things are probably two of the most exciting parts of this wave. We got the Battle Pack. We got the Battle Packs right here, of course, Praetorian Guards and the Inferno Squad Battle Pack. That thing is obviously very important to me. And uh, I am going to do a full rave review of all these sets, but I am going to also do um, an in-depth review on this bad boy right here, because this thing is... You guys probably know exactly why I feel so strongly about that set. But also right here, we got the Dewback and Escape Pod um, Micro Fighter set. So this one, I really just got for that boy right there. The Dewback is also a pretty cute build. But I really just got it for that guy right there, that updated Sand Trooper, orange pauldron, as well as the updated helmet. Super excited. We didn't have to wait too long to get new Sand Troopers with a new helmet mold. Next up, we got one of the sets that I personally am more excited to open up, and that is, of course, the Death Star set. Um, I really mostly wanted this thing for that guy right there. Once again, new updated helmet, but also for this Luke Skywalker with the utility belt. And I've heard the set comes with an extra one, so I'll be able to throw that on one of my Han figures as well. Next up, we are looking at the droid gunship. Now, this is uh, one of the two episode three sets, which is obviously very nice. It's nice when we get prequel sets that will seem to come few and far between nowadays, but I am very happy to have that set. And I think that it is a vast improvement over the previous model. Now this is the one that uh, I'd describe as somewhat controversial. People are kind of disappointed that it's not like a, a full-fledged upgrade, but I personally do think that this thing looks really nice. And if you weren't able to acquire the last um, ATAP, this is obviously a good time for you to be into Lego because hey, we got a new one right here. So I'm actually really looking forward to uh, building that because I do not have an ATAP. And then finally, last and probably least, the Darth Maul Microfighter. Like I said earlier, wasn't super excited for it. Um, I have tons of Darth Mauls with the very smiley, creepy face. But, um, hey, I'm going to have to do that uh, full way review. So, obviously, the X-Wing gets missing. We didn't have any at my store. I'm going to pick one up before I do that full way review. But um, this is actually going to be just the first video that I'm putting out today. There's going to be another video later today. It's going to be that Inferno Squad Battle Pack review. So, you guys will certainly want to look at that. I'm going to have some really awesome looking pictures with those guys in my Vardos mock. So, I really do urge you all to catch that video later on as well. But that's going to finish up the video today. I just want to show you guys what I picked up. I'm always excited when I can go into the store and pick up some brand new Lego Star Wars sets because I seem to put myself in the position of buying all of them as soon as they come out. And I've kind of done the same thing here, so it'll be a while before I can go in and buy more new sets. But hey, I will appreciate this moment as it comes. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start building all of these, and I will see you guys later today with the Inferno Squad Battle Pack review.